Hey everyone, I just wanted to show you um, a, the Korean version Galaxy S by Samsung. This is the first version that came out. I got this about last year when it first hit the market. And I mean, at first it was okay. It was pretty good. All the applications worked, but a lot of people uh, complained that it was kind of slow. So I want to show you after the Froyo update and after a Korean kind of a hack that I installed how well it does now. So as you can see, it's a lot quicker than what um, any other Korean Galaxy S phones are going to be like that are unmodified. Just uh, quick to show you what I'm running. Uh, here we have Froyo. It's called SL28. Yeah. And you can find this kernel online. But uh, yeah, just a couple examples. Let's look at the applications. And you can see there's basically zero lag. Um, some people complained about lag in the first, you know, the first iteration of the software. But after Froyo, it's working a lot better. The uh, data input output is a lot quicker. So if you check out the gallery, see it takes a couple seconds to load up everything. Boom. You know, it's all in. Nice and smooth, nice and quick. Um, let's open up a photo, see how long that takes. Here we have a Hyundai Sonata. One, two, about two seconds to load it up. And uh, yeah, from there, most of them are loaded in. Uh, yeah, excuse these pictures. But yeah, if we zoom in, see it's nice and smooth, no problems there. Um, let's see what else can we show you? Uh, here's a good example Angry Birds. Oh, you know, this is a big, huge app on iPhone and Android. Let's just show you how well it runs. It runs pretty nicely. Uh, let's get the sound on so you can hear it. Yeah, nice and smooth. Yeah, I mean, as you can see, it's nice and smooth. You know, there's no graphic problems, no lag whatsoever. So, uh, let's hit, uh, yeah, I want to quit. Um, what are some other good things I can show you? Um, let's pull up the internet. And it looks like it's going to go to Google. Let's see how long that takes. This is on the uh, 3G slash 4G. I believe in Korea they call it 3G. In America they call it 4G. But it's actually not. It's like 3.5G. But uh, yeah, you can see it's pretty quick. Let's open up uh, the Korean newspaper. I read uh, basically every day. And yeah, I mean, it's nice and fast. Zoom in. Um, double tap to zoom into that paragraph. So yeah, I mean, nice and smooth. No, you know, problems. This is a good thing if you don't have the um, advanced task killer, I think it's called. Yeah. Um, some other stuff I run a lot Google Reader, you know, nice and smooth. And just to show you what, uh, I guess you could call it hack, but this is what it's called Tegrak lag fix. And you can actually find this right on the market, but you have to install the SL28 kernel and then you can install this. And you can en enable rooting in one click. So, you get a little bit more speed, again, you get root access, but um, in Korea, if it's rooted, you can't use the um, online banking apps. So it's nice to be able to just one click, turn it on, turn it off, you know, when you want the extra little boost, and yeah, when you don't need it. And, you know, another good thing about Android, as I'm sure you're aware of, if you have one, is the nice multitasking, you know, you have. So I can pull up Google Talk, I can play a little bit of Word Feud, which... If you um, if you don't know what it is, it's basically Scrabble, and you can play online with a whole bunch of different people. So, and you know, hold it down. I can, s you know, switch back over to Google Reader, read something, hold it down, switch back over, put a couple tiles down, whatnot. So uh, yeah, I mean that's basically it. I just wanted to show you that if you all have the Korean version Galaxy S and you're not too happy with the speed, that there are other options out there, and Honestly, man, I, I had a lot of headaches when it first came out, but now that frozen yogurt's out, um, some hackers hacked it up a little bit, made it a little bit easier to use. I'm very happy with this phone. I mean, I guess one more good thing to do is we'll do a benchmarking program and then I'll, uh, I'll quit it. So we'll do Quadrant Standard on a full benchmark just to show you what kind of numbers I get. This is with rooting off. It's not rooted either. This is just with the lag fix, 
and the data input output fix among some other things and um, yeah let's see what kind of score it gets okay there goes the 3d and I don't know why I'm posting this now because the Galaxy 2 Samsung Galaxy S2 is already announced and I'm sure it's gonna blow this out of the water but for people like me who have a contract with this phone and you're gonna be stuck with it for a while um, yeah you know modify it a little bit and you'll be very happy with your results um, and some other great stuff about you know this phone for those who don't know too much about it um, let's see so I don't know if you can if you can see but it's way at the top it's at what 1670 which is higher than the Nexus 1, 2, and the Droid, what's that, Droid X2 and Evo 2, blah, blah, blah. So here's the actual ga original Galaxy S right here in the middle, if you can see it. But after, you know, some of these fixes, it's basically doubled up the speed. So it's more than worth the little bit of hassle you might have to uh, modify it. Um, some other things, uh, one th kind of a, not really a bragging right, but something different that this phone can offer versus you know your typical iPhone is that you do not have to modify or convert any videos that you download um, into the which is MP4 or whatever the Apple codec is you can just dump a DivX AVI right into here and play it with no problems so you know if you have you know if you downloaded a season of whatever Dexter or American Idol, whatever whatever you guys watched back in America, it's been a while. Um, yeah, just dump it in. You know, it plays DivX right off the fly. You don't have to worry about converting anything. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. And um, if you have a Galaxy S, you know, you can speed it up. So why not? All right, take care.